all right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right guys here's a video that was sent to me by my good friend jen jen thank you once again for the video now in this video guys i think most of you guys will get a little pissed off uh because i got pissed off at it okay uh these frauditors are like doing the most uh, extreme shit in order to get their subscribers to uh be interested in their videos give them the clicks and the views that they need so that they can make some money on youtube okay now, uh, this particular frauditor, he calls himself Freedom Audits, and I pretty much, I've seen uh, some of his videos, and I don't know, he leaves a bad taste in my mouth that I don't even bother with him, okay? But I'm going to give respect to my good friend, Jen. Uh, she felt that it was an interesting video, and she wanted to uh, share it, and I said, hey, uh, I agree, it is interesting, because this knucklehead is uh, doing his... Uh, or should I say, exercising his First Amendment right of uh, publicly recording at a food bank, guys. A food bank, okay? A charity that's out there helping people that are experiencing hard times, okay? And um, granted, uh, it's nothing that anybody should be ashamed of, but it's just... That's us, you know, it's being a human. Nobody wants to feel vulnerable uh, that we have to go ask for, uh, ask anybody for help, let's say, okay? And this asshole, okay, and that's what I call him, he's an asshole. He uh, is having a hard time understanding that when he is being told by the director of this uh, charity, uh, a food bank, let's say, the director is trying to explain to him that uh, people just don't want to be recorded there okay and um the bullshit that he wants to throw that it's his right it's just as if he were on a sidewalk or whatever um that that just pissed me off okay let's check out the video so you can better understand what i'm talking about and we'll go from there I just say this is the bellingham food bank guys so they do a lot of a lot of good for the community they do uh that guy's cool. I had a good conversation with that guy. And uh, they help people out, you know, and and uh, they're always helping and, and going out of their way, trying to help the help the homeless. A lot of homeless come here. It's something to pay attention to. Bellingham Food Bank, guys. Is it public or private? All right, so I got to say, this guy must have a warped sense of humor where uh, here he is telling his subscribers that the place, it's looking out for the people. It's uh, doing a lot for the community, uh, looking out for the homeless people and so on. And then the next thing that comes out of his mouth, is it private or is it public? And if he's asking those questions, <laughs> what do you think he wants to do now, guys? Is it public or private? I'm not sure. Look at all the different languages they put up. I'm not sure what that one is. That's maybe Russian. But it's kind of cool. Are they? Hello. Boy, are they selling tires here? They must be. I don't have a mask. And I don't want to put one on anyhow. So, this is the Bellingham Food Bank. I'm going to check it out to see if it's... Is, this, is it public or private, the Bell Bellingham Food Bank? Yeah, I'm just filming the streets and stuff. That's all. Just getting some B-roll footage. There's the phone number, guys. I just don't. I just don't have a mask. That's all. Can't go in without a mask. I like your PT Cruiser. I used to have a blue one. I used to have a blue PT Cruiser. But you, you got the convertible. Right. Yeah. It's. Well, I'm just doing some public photography. Some public photography. I was always interested. Everybody talks about the food bank and stuff. I see it in a lot of my videos. So I do, I do the uh, 
uh, police, you know, the police body cam videos I get sometimes. So, just wanted to see. But that's a neat car. It's a classy car, you know. GT Cruisers. Class. So that's it, guys. That's the food bank. But I don't have a... Oh, they, have, they supply masks. All right, so let me point out some double talking that he did here, whereas when he first got to that location, he was telling his subscribers that, uh, look, uh, the location requires face masks to go inside, and I don't have one, but I don't want to wear one anyway. So apparently he didn't want to go into the location from the get-go. But now, now that he noticed the location offers face masks, Oh, now he has a change of heart. Now he wants to go in and record. And you heard what that lady uh, said when uh, he threw it out there. Is this place uh, public or private? And the lady told him, I think it's public, but I don't want to be on your camera. Okay, so right from the get-go, uh, people there are letting him know. They don't want to end up on his uh, social media. They don't want to end up on YouTube. Okay, and I think they have every right so. I mean, damn it, you know, I, I understand people feel a little awkward, uh, you know, going to a location for help. And, and I say this, guys, uh, no one, no one should uh, feel ashamed if they ever need help like this, if they ever need food. That's what these food banks are there for, guys, okay? I mean, if I didn't have any food before I go hungry, hey, I'm going to take advantage of my local food banks. Uh, nothing, nothing to be ashamed of, guys. Keep that in mind. Nothing to be ashamed of. Understandable that we have this pride in us or whatever, but there's nothing to be ashamed of. And you would think this uh, this so-called journalist, frauded or whatever the hell he considers himself, you would think he'd take that into consideration. You know, give a little, you know, give a little respect to those that are going there. Okay, but... Uh, as we all know, frauditors, they're pieces of shit. I didn't like the guy in the get-go, and I sure as hell don't like him after I watched his video. I'll have to get a mask then and just walk in real quick. So this is what they do. It's pretty neat in here. Look at that. They're all into health stuff. Hello. Bring in boxes and bags. What's all this stuff? Okay. Text. Hello. How are you? That's good. It's a neat place you got here. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing some filming and uh, checking out the food bank. You guys are public, right? Yes. Okay, I was just, I wasn't sure. Let, let her go. She she got uh, some business here. I'm just getting pamphlets and stuff and checking it out. So this is, I'm just wondering what kind of income bracket you have to be to, oh, they got baby food. It's really a neat place. Can I go through here? Is that okay? Um, yeah. I just I've never been in here before and what kind of what kind of um I was just wondering what do you have to show like your income tax and stuff to So how how would you cuz if you're not working right now, how would you You know what? Can I get I'll have somebody come talk to you. Okay. I'm sure you can film in here cuz this is People's privacy. Well, it's public, right? It's a public place, but people don't want to be on film. So it, that's why. You understand it's the same as like the sidewalk. All right, so I think we could all agree that this guy is truly an asshole to throw that out there about the, uh, it's like being on a public sidewalk. And, and I, I call bullshit on that one because this is nothing like being on a public sidewalk. You got people here that are, are there for help, uh, gathering food or whatever. And unfortunately, some people have this pride in them that they feel a little awkward uh, just being there. Okay, and you would think the the knucklehead here would uh, be considerate, 
You know, if he's trying to show his subscribers if they need any help, here's a particular food bank that will, you know, if you're in the area, if you live in the area, here, this food bank can help you out. Good. That's good. You're doing something good. But you don't need to be in there recording the people while they're getting their food and all that. Come on. That's, could you just imagine being in there, you're getting your food, and here's some asshole, you see him with a camera in his hand, cell phone in his hand, uh, panning back and forth, left and right, blah, blah, blah. Hey, come on now. You know, you, you get kind of tired of these guys. You know, all this bull crap about my right to publicly record, my right this, my right that. You know, it's like their right to record supersedes every damn problem in the world. Because that's all you hear, guys. It's my right to do this. My right to do that. You know? With all the shit that we're going through in this world, you get kind of tired of hearing this bullshit that their right to record in public supersedes this, supersedes that, and so on. Okay? I mean, come on now. Realistically. I tell you, this video, it bent me out of shape. I think some of you might feel the same way. Huh? Back to the video. Yeah, just so you know, I mean, I just want to get some, I get viewers maybe that are in low income brackets and stuff. I'm being respectful, I'm not being noisy or, yeah. Yeah, this guy's got business. He's a busy man, he got to come right, right up there. Doesn't let the lady go first. <laughs> In my days, we, it was always ladies first. So, yeah. My mom would slap my hands if I came, did that, or she'd pull my ear back. And so when I see that, I get a pain in my right ear. Yeah, you sound like a really nice lady. I've never been to the food bank before. It was years ago. What's that? Yeah, you're a nice lady. I could tell you have a nice um, about you. Yeah, what a good lady. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. That's good people. That's what makes up the, you know, just because we're going through a lot of stuff in society doesn't mean you have to be nasty. Hey, There's yeah. a guy. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? My name is Mike. I'm the director here. Okay, Mike. Yeah. Can you give me some space? I'm just, you know, I like to have Can a Can you few. turn the camera off? Uh, I could, yeah. Thank you. But I'm not going to. Okay, then I'm not going to give you more space. Well, I mean, respectfully, right? Respectfully, please turn your camera. You don't have to be right in front of my face. Could you turn your camera off, please? I could. Yes, I said. Will you I, turn your camera off, please? No, I want to film in here. It's All right. A public. We don't allow filming in here. Is it public? Yeah, but we have the right to refuse entrance to anybody. Really? Yeah. For for filming or if somebody for came. For anything. In, okay, so if somebody came in here with a Motley Crue T-shirt or uh, something that you didn't like, you could tell them to leave. Yep. Yeah. What if they had? For religious purposes. Yep. So they came in here with a with a turban. We wouldn't, but we could. You 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 could tell them to leave. Sure. If they had a turban on. Sure. Could you understand what you're saying right now? I do. All right, so just keep in mind that when that uh, fraudster that threw that out there about uh, you would refuse service to somebody there with a turban, and the director made his comment that uh, he wouldn't, but he could. Okay, was just uh, setting an example that if uh, he wanted to refuse anybody's service, uh, he could. But um, you'll see the frauder is twisting things around in order to make them look bad. Okay, so nobody gets the wrong impression about what this guy uh, just made that comment there about the turban. Okay, violate my First Amendment. That's like what you're going to do. Well, I'd like you to turn the camera off so we yeah, can respect Yeah, it's a request, and if you would have came up nicely, I might have thought about it, but you came right in my face. I'm not here to cause a problem. I'm just here to do a little filming. I have viewers that can't get out sometimes, they're wheelchair bound. That's all this is about. I don't if know why. If you wanted to talk to me about what you wanted to film for, we could have that But why do I have to get an okay? I'm just coming because here. Because we respect people's confidentiality when they come to do that. It would be the same as if I was on the sidewalk. But we don't, have, we don't control that space. You don't, this is public. What's that? This is public space, I this asked. This is a private nonprofit. I'm the director here. So Pam said that it was public. People can come from the public, but we can still refuse people's service. So is it like... Do you want me to call the police? No, but is it, is it like... I'm going to call the police. You can if you want. It's up to you. But from what I understand, it's publicly owned. 
Is it publicly owned? No. No. Okay, I'll check into it. Uh, that guy's filming. He works here. No, he's not. He did. He just had his camera up. I got it on film. So. Yeah, hi, this is Mike Cohen from the Bellingham Food Bank. Um, someone is filming inside our food bank and won't leave and won't turn his camera off. I didn't say I wouldn't leave. It's ridiculous, guys. All they have to be is nice. You don't have to get in front of my face. Okay. Got it? I get I'm allowed six feet. You are? Yeah. I know, yeah. He's about six feet tall. He's white. He's got a beard. How old are you, sir? I guess he's somewhere between forty and fifty. I'm not gonna answer any of your questions. He's about six feet tall. These guys are ridiculous. You're you're bothering the police for Probably. nothing no reason at all. Let's walk out. I want to check that out if it's privately owned. Green ball cap, a Nassar gray t shirt, and blue sweatpants. Tell him to send lions. You guys can go in. I don't want to hold the belt up. Go ahead. Well, now he's at least left the building. He's on the sidewalk. His camera's still on. I'll do my research on it and find out if it's publicly owned. It does not. It does not. All right, so you see the bull crap that he wrote on the screen. Um, I should be able to get all the info, including tax exempt numbers, <laughs> as if uh, like he's a badass frauditor. I can do this now. I'm going to get your tax exempt number and splatter it on YouTube. Well, you would think before going to that location and just walking in there, you would think he would uh he would have got that information so he wouldn't um end up looking like a fool right now the way he is looking at this very moment he's looking like a total jerk you know and it's unfortunate that now uh, this is what it's come down to for frauditors uh, apparently uh, their subscribers are tired of seeing the uh, the same old post office videos and the same old city hall videos that now this is what it's gotten to private businesses are fair game now and I, like I said, guys, you even got some of them like SGV News that are playing private homes. So uh, these guys will do just about anything, anything to keep their subscribers happy, clicking on their videos and giving them the likes so that they can make their YouTube money. That's the type of shit that these guys are on. Because right now, guys, I'm not sure about this place. I was just walking down the street. Hey, guys. I was just walking down the street. This guy's really aggressive. Don't get in front of my face. <laughs> Got it? My name's Mike Cohen. You're being super aggressive, Mike. So here we are. He's going to waste sure. police services. And we're already outside. He could just tell him we're outside of the building. I've walked back several feet Thank from this guy. You. What are they going to do, Mike? The police? Yeah, they're gonna come here. You're gonna waste their time. They're not gonna I get. Don't know. We'll find they're not gonna get my name. We'll find out when they come. They're not gonna get my address. They okay. may know you. They may. They may yeah. not. Okay. Tell them to send lions. Send what? Lions. Lions. Yeah, Officer Lions. Okay. But. So you're telling me it's a private entity. What's oh, that? It's not owned by the public. It's owned by a private entity. Is that what you're saying? It's a public nonprofit. It's a private nonprofit. Okay. What do you mean by owned that, by the public? Well, if it's pri What's so owned by the public? There's different rules if it's private or public. If it's p private, it would be like this alignment break thing. If I went inside, you guys could tell me to leave, which I did. I walked outside because I'm really not sure I haven't done my research on this building. Okay, well, I appreciate you doing your research before you come well, in. Well, I would, but I already came in, so I can't take back time. But I also appreciate you to stand back, and I had to ask you several times. What do you like, mean? What's the six-foot thing that you say? I want my space. Okay. Well, I don't want you in here with a camera. Well, you want your space too, so, you know, I, I walked outside, so just give me my space. You know, I I gave a little bit, did I not? Not really. Oh, really? Am I not outside? You're outside, okay. your camera's still on. It's going to be on. This being... is a public sidewalk, Mike. I know. I don't mind you being okay. in the building. I mind you being in the building with your camera. 
I can ask you the question about the turbine that you're completely off. The 1967, they made a rule about that. I made a mistake about That's that. That's a religious. Then this is going to air, by the way. Really? Yes. Awesome. So enjoy. I will. And I got your mic. Yeah, that's my name. Awesome. I appreciate you sharing your name. But because you called the police, now I gotta wait here. You don't have to wait. No, I'm not gonna have the police have to run around the neighborhood looking well, for I me. gave you a heads up that I was gonna call the police. So. All right, so let me just say, guys, that these guys go back and forth for, I don't know, another 10 minutes or so there. And um, uh, the guy, the director, turns out to be a... Uh, a good guy and he gives him a business card and he lets him know that if you want to you want to make arrangements to come in there and tour the place he will let him okay but he got to understand these frauders man I, I say it again they got this shit with them they feel that their right to record in public overrides everything i think you guys get what i'm getting at and regardless if it's legal what they're doing damn it you got to take other people's uh you got to consider other people. You live in a world with different personalities, different, you know, different, a variety of different people. And some people get affected by little, uh, little things here and there. Again, I say, not everybody wants to be recorded. Some people don't mind. Some people don't care. Okay, but be considerate of your fellow human being. That's the way I see it, guys, okay? This guy, I never liked him in the beginning, and I sure as hell don't like him now after watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on the video, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. I didn't know. You didn't some, like some, some people just bluff, you know, the bluffers. Yeah, hell, I don't bluff. Well, Guess we both learned something. I don't know you, so. Right? No, it's not. So how do I know that? So this is it guys, this is Bellingham, Washington. I'm not sure why, like, Pam was really cool, people really cool. It's not like I was trying to go in to get pri private information, I would have just put this out. And um, people would have just said, yeah, I would have been maybe a couple minutes. Mike could have came up to me and just said, hey, uh, would you like a quick little tour of the non-restricted areas in this building? I would have filmed around a little bit. Hey, this would have been really good advertisement. Cause happy they, to do that. I was just saying a bunch of good things. Happy to do that when there aren't people here shopping. Well, what's big, picking up some oranges is a big deal, or some, baby food some or whatever. People's privacy is very important to them. They go to the grocery store probably too once in a while when they get food stamps. Know. You know, they, it sounds ridiculous what you're saying. You need to rewind yourself and just think about what I you're saying. I completely disagree with you. It does sound ridiculous. You're telling me that somebody, uh, I had a really nice cordial con conversation in which the lady opened up to me and was just telling me that she's a nice person. She's just telling me that, the, the, well, we'll have to review it, but a guy butt butted in head in, in front and I said, well, in my days, you had, it was always ladies first, but you know, whatever. And she was like, yeah, I was brought up that way. And you know, nice little cordial conversation. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's, why people are so defensive over a camera. There is cameras everywhere.